Um, for this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to make your space on After Effects just clean using folders and using compositions and using different scenes. So to take you through and just like kind of show you what I mean by that is for my composition, for my piece, I put everything, everything is in something that we call a ma master comp. So master composition right here. And so with that, you'll see that I have these sections and these will be considered my scenes. So in my sound, there's little parts. So like, I'm really bad at explaining. But for this header, that would be considered one scene, in my opinion. Then it goes to this next scene, which says, all right, let's start planning. And it takes you through. And then it goes to this next scene that says, great. So these are three scenes right here that I split up to make it easier for me to work with those files. To show you what I mean, scene one right here is super simple. It just has the title itself and then the sound to give me a rough draft of where stuff should come in. Scene two gets a little bit busier. Um, it has the all right and a background and a little animation. And scene three, once again, is pretty simple. And it says great and it has a uh, in the sound. So for each scene, I always re, I duplicated the sound and I made it for, I made it last the section that I wanted, if that makes sense. So my composition, I wanted to be one minute long. So I set it to be one minute long. And then for each scene, I sent the scene for how long I want that to be, for how long it should display for. Um, so let's start, open a new file and I'll show you how just to simply set up your document so you can have a well-organized file. Um, so we'll do file, we'll go to new, new project. Let me save this before, just in case. All right, and then we're gonna click on, so this is what your screen's gonna look like when you click new and open, uh, file, new, new project. You're gonna click new composition. Um, this is where, when you click new composition, this is where you should name your master comp. So we'll just click this, we'll name this master comp. And the master comp is where we're going to put all of our mini scenes slash compositions into it. Um, and let's say I want to set this, I want my master comp to be um, one minute long. So we'll do one minute. Actually, I can never remember if that's one minute. Okay, we'll see if I did that right. Okay, and then the color doesn't really matter um, here. For the background color for the master comp because you, in your scenes you'll add a background for the color that you want um for a piece that i just did uh, i had it set for 1440 um and 1080 that is like the average ratio for at um, which is a 16.9 and from there we we'll just click okay all right so this is our master comp okay so i set this for one second Okay, and I meant to set it for one minute. As you can see, it, it's only one second long over here. You can change that after you start. Um, you just click the three little lines underneath there. You go to composition settings and you go back. And now I want it to be, is this it, this one? I think that's that one. Okay, one minute long, you click okay. Yes, okay. So now this will last for one minute long and everything I put in here will only go until that one minute unless I go back and rechange the composition. So if I want to set a set time for something that I am making and I only need it for 50 seconds, then you can customize it that way. And that helps just organize your files. Now let's put in a scene. Um, so from here, master comp, we'll click a folder and I like to save everything in folders because it's just easier to, to manage. So we'll just start with um, scene one. And in there, we're going to add a new composition. 
and it's going to open that same file that we did for the master comp except for this time we're just going to name this scene one and let's say that instead of it being one minute long i want it to last five seconds within my one minute time span of a master composition um, once again the background color doesn't really matter and all of the settings are still the same so we click ok and then that master uh, the scene one composition will open up right here and I'm just gonna drag and drop that right into that folder just to keep it nice and clean um, and then from there we can start adding our elements so what I like to do is I like to add sound first um, technically I'd add my sound to my master comp um, but I guess that can be a different tutorial. I'm just showing you how to organize your files. Um, okay, so from there, so now I'm in scene one right here, and then I can add all of my animations within here. And then if I want to go back and check it out in my master comp, I can click on my master comp. And then to add this scene to my master comp, all you have to do is drag this composition down into the master comp and now it shows that five seconds within the one minute if that makes sense so i can do that again we're going to make a new folder we're going to name this scene two and we're going to in that folder we're going to add a new composition we're going to name that composition scene two and this time let's say we want it to be three seconds and 45 uh three seconds yep Perfect. And then we'll just do three seconds. Nice and simple. Okay. And we click OK. All right. There's scene two. We're just going to drag and drop that into the folder. And then from there, as you see, it added the scene two down here. So this is a nice, easy way you can transfer back and forth into those scenes um, and in the master comp. So we're going to go to the master comp and we're going to add scene two to the master comp. There we go. And as you see, it, it just went right underneath scene two. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our little cursor right at the end of that scene one and then drag scene two right next to it. And that way we know it's flush against that scene one and not doesn't go over and doesn't go to behind. So now we have two scenes here. Um, and that is just an overall way to organize all your files and it keeps your master comp clean and so you're not scrolling and trying to find pieces to edit and all of that. You just go to those simple scenes and then you edit them from there and they automatically add and edit to the master comp. And that is my tutorial.